Okay, so this is going. To, there's gonna be three more stock videos after this, and some more let's plays I'm gonna make. But I just want to go ahead and said and say this: when someone says that anarchism can only apply for small communities, the right to an extent because hierarchies and small states could exist for tremendously humongous cities, or like downtown Manhattan, New York, or uptown Manhattan, New York, which I live in, where they could have less population densities past the Dunbar unit, but it's the hood, so they got to take that into account. However, these could be very simple states, and I see no need for a totalitarian state or an authoritarian state in general, or the middle ground fascist states that we have now. A simple hierarchy and a simple small state that could be dealt with with libertarian ideals would still be the bottom point, the at least point, the minimal point. The bare benefit of doubt minimum. However, population clusters, even in the past, for anarcho public property collectivist communism, in the tribes and primitive tribes that we had to deal with thousands of years ago before the rise of states and more complicated merchant markets. Those were a little bit more tiny, yet they would still reach past the Dunbar unit. It's really easy to reach past the Dunbar units. A nuclear bomb can fall right now in my place and there would still be clusters which at some point would reach past the Dunbar units. So what did they do? Did they just like establish hierarchies or form a small state? No, the organizational structure opted for something else. That's what happened. There's more than one form of organizational structures. It's not just hierarchies. Society is very varied. And that's one thing I like to mention. There's so much ways that man can organize himself that it's not even funny. And what happened with these tribes is that, sure, amongst themselves they were very socialist esque or private property esque or collectivized. But once they reached past the Dunbar units and attracted within other tribes and that interconnected tribe interaction it would become a little bit more capitalist-esque, market-esque I'm throwing so much terminology that I'm slurring and using awkward grammar but that's the point they would switch their organizational structure the sociology would change the economics would change, the civic nature might change a little bit. But it doesn't mean that they have to establish a hierarchy right there. Anarchism can still exist. It can exist for our suburban clusters, our towns, our rural areas, maybe even some of our cities. Not all of them. I can certainly tell you that Manhattan and New York would have to settle for minarchism. But it's a lot more flexible than you think.